Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I want to show you the Mi Studio Papel Picado dies. I've been making some cards with these and they're a whole lot of fun. Um, I'm going to run you through a card. Well, the Papel Picado dies are for DIY party. Um, kind of That's the idea behind it. It's kind of fiesta theme. You can cut these great lacy shapes and then string them together and make a beautiful banner for your DIY party and decorating. These are also great for cards though. So I wanted to run you through some ideas I have. All right, here's the dies. Um, this is the large rectangle, Papel Picado. Um, here's a geometric. We're gonna use that one today. And this is the half circle. All right, so there are three dies available and this is kind of my idea for card making. Here's a couple samples. Okay, and then here's the half circle. Um, I like to selectively fill in the negative space and their size is perfect for an A2 card. All right, so um, here we selectively filled in the little daisies and left the holes around the border, show the card base color. Here's one where I just filled it in all with a contrasting color. So I just layered the two colors. Okay, here's the card we're gonna make today. And let's get started, all right? These are perfect for A2 size cards. So this is a quarter sheet of um, Winter Sky cardstock. And I'm going to put that over the die and run it through my die cut machine. Okay, so I run that through the machine and I'm going to remove the banner from the die. There we go. It removes really easy. And I'm just going to use a paper piercer and push out any of the uh, negative spaces here, clean them out that remain. And there's not very many. It makes a really nice clean cut. All right, so there it is. And then we're going to add some white behind the border dots and yellow in the center of the flowers, leaving the petals open to reveal the azul cardstock underneath from the base. All right, so we're gonna turn it over and work it on the back side. I've got some Tombow Mono Aqua and some scraps of papaya and sugar cardstock. And super simple, I'm just going to, around the center of each flower, okay, super simple, around the center of each flower, I'm just gonna scribble a little circle of adhesive. Doesn't take much. And then, using the scraps of papaya cardstock, I'm gonna cut some little squares here and then just adhere those little squares just behind the flower center there. So, you see, that's what you get. All right, so we're gonna do that to all five flowers. Okay, and then when you've got the flowers all done, it's really simple to do the small dots all the way around the edges. So you don't have to cut individual squares like you did for the flower centers. You're just gonna run a line of adhesive on either side of the dots and then like a ladder in between the dots, okay? And then adhere a strip of sugar cardstock to cover a whole line of the dots at one time. Okay, so with that adhered to the back, when we turn it over, Take a look at that. We've filled in all those dots in one move. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue strips behind the other sides of this, and then we'll put together a card.
Okay, so I glued the last strip on, and that's what you're looking at. We've got the cardstock all glued to the back of the flowers and each of the dots, and when I turn it over, you'll see, isn't that fun? All the flower centers are yellow, and then all these dots around the perimeter are white. And then that's the card we're gonna make. Let's assemble. All right, now that this is done, I'm gonna cut down the top just a little bit. Let's see here. I'm going to cut it down to about three and a half inches. So the point is at three and a half inches wide. I need to make some room for my sentiment at the bottom of the card. All right, then glue that to my card base. So cut my banner down at the top. Just trim the edge off, made it three and a half inches. Okay, you've got a Azul card base here. I'm going to glue the banner to the card base. chomp the corners. We'll round those a little bit. Go over some Mark Ink. Hey y'all from Southern Sass. I'm gonna stamp and emboss a little sentiment here. Last I've got some vanilla twine here. I'm gonna just slip that into the card. Around the top here, tie a bow to embellish. Trim hands, and there's our card. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, email me, Marissa at kitchentablestamper.com.